Vaccines protect people from the spread of infectious diseases and save about 3 million lives each year. However, to be effective, vaccines must be kept cool from the time they are manufactured to the time they are administered. To keep vaccines within the recommended range of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, every country maintains a temperature-controlled supply chain called the vaccine cold chain, using refrigerators and insulated containers with ice packs to store and transport vaccines safely, a task that can be challenging in the world's most remote locations. Historically, the focus of the cold chain has been on preventing exposure to heat, but it is becoming increasingly evident that some vaccines are at great risk from freezing. Studies that examined all segments of the supply chain in multiple countries have shown that on average 36% and up to 100% of vaccines were exposed to extended periods of freezing temperatures. So why are we concerned about a vaccine getting too cold? Many vaccines contain ingredients called adjuvants that are required to stimulate an immune response, making the vaccine effective. When liquid vaccines are frozen and thawed, the adjuvants most commonly used in vaccines can cluster together and become damaged. This reduces vaccine potency, leaving vaccinated people vulnerable to the diseases they thought they had been protected against. Given that freeze-sensitive vaccines represent approximately 70% of over $1 billion US dollars spent by UNICEF on vaccines annually, freeze incidents may result in a staggering loss of money and effort. To detect possible freeze exposure, temperature monitors and freeze indicators can be purchased and used more regularly in immunization programs. When freezing is suspected, the shake test can determine whether vaccines have been damaged. However, this test does not prevent freezing incidents from occurring. Currently, the only way to prevent freezing is to invest in health worker training and supervision on freeze prevention protocols. Because this approach relies on already burdened health staff, scientists and engineers have been developing technical approaches to avoid freezing. The World Health Organization has established new freeze-safe specifications for cold boxes, making it easier to avoid freezing without complicated procedures. In response to these new specifications, engineers are designing equipment that allows frozen coolant packs to be placed directly into the container without needing to warm them to a safe temperature first, enabling vaccines to stay cold for longer periods, protected from freezing. In addition, scientists are working on methods that allow vaccines to withstand freezing temperatures. Because these methods can be incorporated at a minor cost to manufacturers when introduced early in the research and development process, they hold great promise as a cost-effective solution to protect vaccines from freezing. All solutions to detect and prevent freezing must be pursued without delay. Increased investment in all freeze prevention technologies is needed now, not only to protect the enormous commitments that have been made towards vaccines, but to protect people from diseases.